hi guys welcome to today's video now if you have been doing pattern drafting for some time you will know that grading of patterns takes a lot of time especially if you want to do it manually there are a lot of CAD pattern drafting softwares that actually help you to do grading just with a few clicks of the mouse button but today in this video I'm going to be using a very simple to use CAD pattern drafting software that can actually help you to grade. If you do not know what pattern grading is, in simple language, it means creating a particular style in different sizes. Creating patterns, pattern pieces of a particular style in different sizes. That is what I'm going to show you how to do digitally. And we are going to be using a very simple to use CAD pattern drafting website called iClo. Now, if that is what interests you, stay tuned and let's go and start. The very first thing you need to do is to enter iClo on Google and it takes you to their website. This is my <clears throat> account in iClo. If this is your first time of um, visiting iClo, I have a detailed video on my YouTube channel right here. Easy to use. Um, designing software for the beginner called iClo. I'm going to drop this link directly below this video. So you can go ahead, watch this video, get used to iClo, see how you can actually use it. It has a very easy interface for you to be able to use and draft your patterns. So once you are in iClo, you go to create and then we're going to click on new design and here you have the choice of clicking whatever design you want to make like let's go to clothes it dresses right here and let's go down to um, let me look for something that i want to make that is easy and fast to make Let's try this A-line dress. Click on it and then click on, let me remove this. Click on create. Okay, once you have it here, we are going to do a few adjustments. So what you're going to go there, I'm going to go here and click on advanced mode. And I'm going to do a few adjustments. Like this length is too long. I want something a little bit uh, short. So I'll just scroll down and look for bottom length. Let me do this slide. So once you do anything, it will automatically adjust itself. As you can see, I've reduced the length and it has shown that it is reduced. Then if you want to turn it around to see what it looks like, this is your model, you just turn it around. And if you want to see the measurement that was used to create this pattern, you just go here and click on pattern measures and you see everything here. I set it to centimeters, you can always change it to inches. As I said, this video is not to tell you how to use iGlo. I have a full video which I will link below this video and you can go ahead, watch that video get used to iClo and then you can come to this video and see how you can use iClo to do your grading. When it comes to grading with iClo, it's quite different uh, like if you're using a software where you created your patterns from scratch. When it comes to this kind of pattern drafting websites, where the patterns are already there for you, all you have to do is to do your adjusting to fit whatever size you have. The grading simply means you create the same dress style, 
but in different sizes. The same dress style in different sizes. That is how they do their grading. Essentially, that is what grading is. Only that when it comes to patterns that you actually um, create by yourself, you find that you can create those patterns and place them side by side to be able to see the different kinds of um, sizes you have. Unlike with this kind, you just create this particular style, but in different sizes, which I'm going to show you. So once you've gotten the style that you want, you adjust it to whatever, you know, style that you want. Then once you've done that, you can change the colors right here. If you click here, let's say you want the color to be green. You can change it. You can see it has turned to green. And let's say you want to use something else, motifs. You can click there and put whatever design you want on your dress. So let me see. I think I like this. Yeah, I like that. So I'll leave it at that. And then click out. And then you have your style. I think I'm okay with the way it looks. So once you've created your style, the next thing to do now is to get to the next stage. Once you're done with your pattern and you're satisfied with it, we'll now go to grading. Once you click on grading, it will tell you to save this project. So you just give this project a name. So let me say um, sleeveless, sleeveless a gown. Let me call it sleeveless a gown. And then we save it. Now, once you save it, if you come up here now, under my event, I don't have evators, I did not create any evators. But you can have custom evators that have been created according to UK sizes, EU sizes, and US sizes. So you can now give this particular one a great name. Maybe it is your US size 10 or US size 12. And of course, you will know that by looking at the size chart right here. Or when you're creating your pattern, you can give it measurements according to the size chart that you want to use. There are a lot of size charts online that you can use to create that measurement. So let's say this, my great name is uh, let me just say US size 8. Now, if you click on any of this, you're going to see customized models of different sizes. So if I click on US, you see different kinds of models of different sizes. So if this is my US size 8, remember I'm just taking any kind of size you know just to illustrate it that is your size it's so whichever models i want here of course as you can see they're having different shapes different sizes the sizes are increasing as you drop down so let's say i just want to do three different grades maybe i want to do size 10 and size 12. so let's see if i can go to here I'll take this as size 10. Size 10 and this one as size 12. So US 10, US 12. As you can see, they give you the different heights, different heights of the models. So let's say I just want to do these three gradings. I want to create this style in just this two gradings plus this one. So once you've done that, so it depends on you, you can do as much as six, seven, eight, you know, you can grade up to maybe size 18 if you want. It will give it to you. Okay, let me just add this one, size 14. So let's have three. 
So once you've done that, just come here and click on great. So it will take some time to be able to generate this particular design in those three different grades. So as you can see now, anyone you click on, if you take a look on your right, you'll see that the measurements change. The measurements change. For instance, let's focus on the waist width. This is 77.4. Let's do the third one. And then you see that the measurements are changing according to the different sizes. See now the waist width is 81.2 centimeters. So we've created this particular style in three different sizes. Go to pattern preview. This is what the patterns are going to look like for each of the sizes. We also have uh, sewing instructions there, which you can download. I've downloaded it, the sewing instructions. Then when you're done with all this, very easily just click on download CAD pattern. So you can just click on download. Now on a free iClo account, you're only allowed one grading project. So once I download this, I cannot do any other grading project again, except I now go to the subscription uh, of the iClo to be able to do any kind of grading project. I will show you what their subscriptions look like. Even though I showed you in my other video that I told you, I'm going to put the link below this video. So once you click on download, it will download it as a zip file. That's, that's it here. You get it as a zip file. And now if we go to that file, let me remove it here and click on it. That's, those are your three sizes. Those are your three different sizes, which you can always put together. If I click on one, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So you're going to have it on 20 A4 sheets. 20 A4 sheets, that's what it's showing you. So now come down, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. This is what each of them will look like. That's how you're going to be able to put them together to form your pattern for that particular size. So that's how if you go to 12, it's like that. Go to 14, it's like that. Now you can put all these three together into one A4, into one PDF using Canva. If you want, you can always do that. But that is not... Um, in the scope of this video, all you need to do is that you can create different um, styles. You can create the same styles but with different sizes to be able to grade your patterns. That's how easy it is, just with a click. You'll be able to do that just with a click. So go ahead and try your hands on using iClo to be able to create iClo CAD pattern drafting website to be able to do your reading. I like it because it's quite easy to do. It's really quite easy to, to get different sizes, especially if you want to be selling your patterns online as a digital product. You can create different sizes of any pattern. The only challenge I have with iClo is that it's you're limited to a particular style. That's just my problem with it. You're limited to a particular style. Unlike if you have to create your own styles in some other pattern drafting softwares. Example, if you're using Simly 2D to be able to create your own style, you can always create styles too with different measurements and uh, do your grading. Even though you need to start from scratch. So with that, I've come to the end of this video. I hope you found it interesting and you've learned something and you go try your hands on using iClo CAD pattern drafting software to do your one-click grading in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time in my video. 
You see how simple that was? It didn't take up to 10 minutes. I think it was less than 10 minutes. We were able to do three different sizes of the same pattern. So go ahead, try your hands on iClo and see how easy it is for you. If you have any kind of questions or challenges, don't hesitate to drop your comments and I'll answer you as soon as possible. So stay blessed till my next video.